So a lot of you have been enjoying this red truck build and I've loved transforming this truck from basically we see right here what you see right here which is just this like this is such a cool looking truck a lot of effort you know i mean literally it was just so much effort of just finding the right parts and having the engine and doing all this stuff it all just combined to just turn into this beautiful truck since i was in search of you know parts and doing some other stuff i haven't stopped looking for a new truck Ever since I sold my 2016 F350 Lariat Ultimate, that has been like the baseline, you know? It's like, how do we get back to that? This truck, do we continue with it to try to get it back to that level? Or do we kind of go for the next upgrade, which is the new body style, the Lima Duty? So you go with the Lima Duty. On Marketplace, looking for parts, looking for stuff, you just type in Super Duty, XLT, or you type in Platinum, constantly on the lookout. This truck right here popped up for sale. It is a 2018 a Luma Duty crew cab long bed and it's an XLT package. So this truck was an XL, so that means it never had power seats, none of that stuff. It was, we actually got a full platinum interior, but didn't have any of the harness, couldn't locate one of the harnesses. So we did the console, we did the carpet and we made it really freaking nice. That truck is sick. I like, love that truck. I kind of feel like a silly goose for getting rid of it. But we actually just had somebody, they're on their way to the bank right now to get me a check for almost, not quite, very close to what I paid for this truck. Wow. So it was a really good deal. One owner truck, no accidents, clean Carfax from California. The guy bought it and he put 50,000 miles on it within the first year, just running it up and down the highway, like doing business stuff. It has 196,000 miles on it right now. But you would not think that looking at it it's crazy how it's clean it so is. clean i mean even even the seats are not messed up any truck that has been in and out of a lot the seat that's a big telltale sign of like whether it's been used and abused the armrest is super clean normally like right here this thing will be worn off at like a little bit of an angle that is actually in pretty good shape it smells good inside it he, smells like a new truck the back seat literally nobody rode with him it was like him in his truck like he didn't even have a passenger you already got the car seats in here. You guys went out to a movie night the other I've night, been yeah? I've been hiding this from you guys for about two weeks. Uh, if you've seen, I did list this truck for sale. When opportunity knocks, you gotta open the door. This thing came and it's, I, I couldn't be happier with it. I'm so stoked for it. I've already looked at like, you know, adding the center console. I actually already did one upgrade. Lariat steering wheel. Yup, nice. It had a foam steering wheel and since it had a lot of highway miles, you could tell like where he was grabbing the steering wheel the whole time. Like it was crazy. It was like he put this hand in one spot and then the window tent. So yeah, when we got tent it, looks sick. the rear was tinted, but the front, it was like a fishbowl. It was like a fishbowl kind of. So I was driving around. I was like, okay, one of my favorite pieces of this truck is the mirrors. Oh, yeah, so power folding mirrors. That my other truck had that. It was just so nice. When you're towing, we'd hook up this truck to the trailer. And you'd get in it and you'd be like, oh man, I forgot the mirrors. You get out, you gotta pull them out. In order to pull it into this bay at the shop, you have to fold in one of the mirrors. And then at my house, I park in the little side of the garage and you have to fold in the mirror every time you get in mm -hmm. and out. It's one that. of those things where you like, don't know how good it is until you don't have it. One of the things that I've already had in my head for this is since it's the 17 to 19 body style, one of my favorite things with this new body style is the 2020 front bumper. The whole 2020 front. I love the headlights, the grill, it's less square, it kind of rounds off right I'll here. toss a picture up right here. A paint match 2020 bumper with the LED. It's got to have the LED right there at the top. There's like a little strip. I'd like to do the lamp headlights, like the LED headlights mm -hmm. with the lamp. Those are so um, sick. But I think this is one of them trucks where I'm going to be very happy with it for a long time. It does have a little damage right here, right there. Just a and little then bit. Like and a there's... little crease right here. The bed looks like it's never been used. Like that's, that's literally what's crazy. like I used it more than he ever did because I, I loaded up some transmissions in it the other day. And then we actually took it to the drive-in movie. So we put like a mattress in it. The OEM backup camera is a lot better than the aftermarket backup camera. It's like focused out there. Whereas this one is kind of focused right here. And it's just, it's super easy to back up with that. This one has the backup sensors. It's just a nice truck. So with this truck, I had my asking price at kind of my asking price as it is with the wheels and tires and the whole new setup on it. And I was basically just gonna duplicate this setup on the new truck. These people who are, uh, are interested in it right now, they have an F-150 and they're basically looking to just upgrade uh, because they tow like a 10,000 pound camper. 
like a bumper pull camper yeah. with an F-150. And it's an EcoBoost, twin turbo, six speed. But he said that because they've been towing the camper with it, they've just put so much wear on the truck that like they just need a bigger truck. In our negotiation, I'm putting back the stock uh, wheels, which leaves these wheels to go on the new truck, which I'm pretty stoked on that. Because I've been driving it around in like grandpa mode and it's like dead silent. That's nice. Stock exhaust, stock wheels, like stock everything. Like you're driving down the road and you feel like you're driving like a freaking Camry or something. Let's pull these wheels and tires off here and uh, get them cleaned up and stick them on the new one. I'm stoked. It's gonna look so good. Like that she's gone but now we get to put the other wheels and tires on the new unit which i'm really excited about truck huh like this is such a stereotypical like white f-250 black wheels what else what else is there pretty stoked on the way it looks these wheels look really good they're actually like only like a half an inch bigger like because these are 33s than the stock wheels so it should mess with the speedometer it shouldn't rub anywhere the last truck didn't rub anywhere kind of almost needs a leveling kit but i feel like if we put a leveling kit on it then we need 35s so then we might need the airbags in the rear so when we do tow when it does level out then to pump it back up to where it's like actually level and you know what else we need Larry interior. I've already been looking. I at least want to get the center console. That's like kind of a must for me. I love that. Let's hop inside. I want to show you guys like some cool features with this thing. Some of the guys from race week are actually in town at the local drag strip. One of them blew their engine. So I think we're going to hook up the trailer and go save them. So we might get a first tow video in this thing too. What do you think? Maybe. The Ford Chime. It's so quiet in here. Mm -hmm. uh, we also tinted the windshield and it's all ceramic all the way around. We actually dropped it off at my buddy's shop, uh, Nick with Creative Auto. He's a local place. They do a lot of window tinting. They did a phenomenal job. When you're in here, like right now it is hot. It's like almost 100 degrees, 91 degrees. And it's super cool. You don't feel like the heat from the sun with the ceramic. They actually tint like a lot of Teslas and stuff there too. Oh wow. So uh, shout out to uh, Creative Auto. If you guys are local in Southern Colorado or if you're just in Colorado and you want a good place to get your stuff tinted, check them out. We'll throw in a little bit of B-roll of them. They actually, they did some, they sent yeah. us some B-roll of it. One of the main things about this truck that I like is that it's a XLT premium which means that it comes with the bigger dash screen. So it actually has the bigger screen in the dash, the Apple CarPlay, heated seats. So like these things are, the cloth seats are actually heated. It has the screen in the dash. It has the more buttons right here. And then obviously I already did the steering wheel, but it has like the auxiliary, um, auxiliary switches up there. Exhaust brake. Wow. The tow haul mode, downhill descent. I mean, it's just, it's a nice truck. It has the electronic locking rear diff. Overall pretty stoked. Let's drive this thing. It is so quiet. They actually call these the cowboy Cadillac. Wow. That's a nice steering wheel though. But the other thing too, is this thing is kind of quick. like. Okay. Like it feels it, as quick as your other one. It's not bad. And we might we might have a tune coming for it too. It's probably one of the things you guys are wondering is how much did I buy this truck for? What did I have into the red truck overall? And then even the the white truck. How much did I have in the last white truck before we like sold it? Because this is almost is this a free truck? 
It depends on it depends on how you look at it. If we're counting profit and trading up and doing the things, then buddy, this is almost a free truck. First, all we gotta do is we gotta launch like we're gonna take off an airplane. Check this out. All right, we're ready to talk about money. My white truck. I bought it from the auction, we fixed it, we repaired it. I did all in, all said, all done. Window tint with the tune, with the, the stuff, with the wheels, the tires, the suspension. I had $28,000 in that truck and I drove it for four years and put 60,000 miles on it. So I had 28,000 in it, I sold it for 38,000. So let's call that a profit of $10,000. So the red truck, I bought it initially for $3,000. The parts truck was 4,000. So that is a total of $7,000 plus I have parts. The stereo, I had about a thousand dollars in it. The center console, we're just going to value that at about a thousand. So we're at 2000. The wheels and tires I took off and I would say there was about another thousand dollars in miscellaneous stuff. I did a charge pipe. I did a little intercooler pipe. I had like $200 uh, for like the tuning stuff. Overall with that truck, I had, let's just call it $10,000 in it total. And I just sold it without the wheels and tires for 22,000. So that leads us to this truck. I just got this truck for $26,000, which is a hell of a deal. Now I technically have $4,000 in this truck right here, which is pretty insane. Now that we're done talking about the money, turn off the money buttons right there. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook up the trailer and uh, we're gonna go rescue some people from the local track, some race week homies. Look at that backup camera right there. So the last backup camera was okay, but this one, it's just in the right spot and when you turn your wheel, it, look at that. I think I'm gonna have to go raise it just a Yeah, little just little. a tiny bit. Look at that. That's, if you have never tried to hook up a trailer without a backup camera by yourself, it literally is infuriating. Our, the red truck, when we first got it done, no backup camera, try to hook up to the trailer. I got in and out of the truck 20 times. This was once. Nice. All right, Jamie, what do you think of the truck? It's big. You like it's it? Large. Carson, what do you think of the truck, baby? mad at you for selling the red one. She got upset when I sold the white one and then upset when I sold the red one and then now yeah, she, said, she Daddy, just... Daddy, don't sell this one. Yeah, she asked me, she's like, Daddy, will you not sell this one? Will you keep it? I said, I'll keep it for a while. I can't promise nothing. Wow, there is, there's actually a lot of people out here uh, spectating for this race. So this is Rocky Mountain Race Week. So we did this in the Supra in 2019 and then we were gonna do it in the Fox Body Mustang last year and then we uh we ended up having some issues and we didn't make it on time so uh we're gonna cruise through the pits find the homies but one of the cool things my favorite parts about the whole thing is just looking at all the trucks well i guess it's the lack of trucks and trailers you can see you got a volvo with a roof rack you got 240sx pretty much everybody just puts their everything that they have like this guy right here. Literally, just a little trailer. They have wagons, look at that wagon. Honey, look at it. Vintage. Vintage, what's in your eye? Jamie got something in her eye. She can't believe her eyes right now. Hey, Jamie. Hi. Hi Trevor, how you doing? Good man, how you doing? Like a shit. Where's the, where's the, that's it right there. That's the one. So this is the car that we're actually came out here to save. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but it's basically a six liter and uh, I think he bent valves, hurt the, hurt the engine. How you doing? Oh, transmission. Shirt all the teeth off a of second gear, so. And you already had the spare with you? Yeah, we brought it with us. Yeah, see that's the nice thing about Hondas is you could just bring like a whole spare engine and spare everything. I have six axles over there because they're all stock. Yeah. It went, uh, went 10.15 at 145. Yeah. 10.05 at 145, nice. almost a nine. Yeah. With basically all stock parts. Yeah, you guys are kind of rolling with the whole PFI crew this oh, yeah. week. Well, Jamie's I car. I got Goofy down here. Hey! hey. <laughs> he's always dirty. Every time he's there, I don't think he's ever been clean. He's my race week cheat code. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy to have around if yeah, you're going to do it. For 2.0, I don't know if I'm going to bring my Honda 
or my Mustang or my other Mustang. I think I kind of wanted my 7.3 Godzilla Mustang. That might be kind of cool. Yeah. But the Honda stuff, it's just like a crew of Hondas. It's like a brother. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping to see your Mustang out here. That but. Is I mean, you thrashed to get that done for last year, and then and then this year it's like ready to go, and it's just sitting. Yeah, but you had a big move and yeah. new shop, so that's a lot to do, you know. Yeah. Hey, hey, how you Good doing? To see you, Trevor. Yeah, I know. Woo. I'm not out here this year, but I know. Actually, I was hoping on. I'm planning 2.0. Okay. I'll so see you 2.0. The issue with this one is like I, it's like in Kearney, it's like 12 hours from here. Yeah. To go there. Then you go from there to Bandemir. To and then to Pueblo. Then to Pueblo. And then back to Pueblo. Back to Pueblo. And then to Kearney. And then you have to go back to Pueblo. I would have to come back there. <laughs> so I was like, ah, but there's another one that starts here and ends here, so that's which is 2.0, which that, that sounds great for me. But it has been an amazing race week though. This yeah. is just no, phenomenal. Like, it didn't bother me that I didn't do it until I came out here and then everybody's out here doing it. And I'm just like, dang You're it. You're Jonesing. Like, but how's this thing doing? Freedom Civic? It's, it's <laughs> we've had our challenges, but doing great right now so i'm hoping you know i'm hoping a one and done hopefully we don't have to borrow your shop yeah. you know all that kind of stuff you know the thing is we have plenty of these type of parts laying around so thank goodness it's, you got that speed tape on there too yeah, so speed tape. Uh, she's you ripping know, you're towing the trailer and everything tomorrow's old car yeah and then cletus and everybody else so. yeah the freedom civic so and then so it's k-series all wheel drive all the stuff all the stuff yeah nice i'm excited to see it rip I've, I've, see I've, it. I've never seen it rip my car is so close so I close know. to going back together. So, I can't wait for we'll that. See. Yeah, no, it's gonna, it's I gonna send. I need to send. see you PSCA race four. <clears throat> I'm always gonna pick on you about that. Maybe, I, I definitely need it's to do it be one more before the end of the year. Vandermeer, and it's gonna be a big race, so yeah. it'd be well, awesome to have you. And what date is that? August 25th and 26th. Okay. I, I think I can make that happen. That would be I think I can make phenomenal. that happen. I think they're ready to pull it up on the trailer. Actually, so they're not pulling it up on the trailer. They're gonna hook up their trailer and then we're gonna put it on the trailer. So we're with Rob right here and this is your creation. Yeah, it's old Yeller. It's our 1954 Chevy Gasser. Well, and I've seen it on race week before. You were doing race week when I did race week in my Supra in 2019, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that was the first year there. It was single turbo with a 4.8 in it yeah. that year. And then so now it's six liter twin turbo. 78, 75, PRC heads. How fast was it? It's been 840s. 840s, so I mean, that's really yeah. fast. She cooks. Yeah. For a 3,900 pound tank. Yeah, big old. Big big old front car. end up in the air, big brake pushing through the air. Yeah. I think what happened is new motor, new build. All right, that's not that. And hit the rev limiter in first gear, second gear shift last night, and I think it floated the valves and kissed the pistons. Ouch. I was telling him, I was like, hey, we got a 4.8 at the shop if you want to. Man, <laughs> if, if it would have been such a struggle all week not sleeping yeah. before getting it here, and we didn't even have it running before we got to Kearney, it probably would have oh, wow. been. So it's been one of those, yeah, like, been, you're yeah, already on, the, this is the straw that yeah. broke the back. Gone through. Our fuel pump died, part of another fuel pump, it ended up being bad. I think we wore 15 gallons of E85 on the side of the road. Ouch. Like showered in that yeah. yesterday. Took her spare fuel pump. About $250 worth of fittings to make it tie in. Dang. And got it here on that. Borrowed a fuel pump from Harvey. And went and made our run. And I was running great through first gear. And made the shift and nosed over. And that was all she wrote. As you can see, he's got the race week trailer and everything hooked up. We're going to kind of let you get out of the way. And then I think... I don't know how many people it's gonna to take to push it up, but she kind of pushes like a tank. But at least your trailer's nice. And yeah, at least it's not bad. So we'll get it up there. First tow with the new truck, so we're gonna we're gonna see how she does. Uh, it's gonna handle it just like a champion. So 